Hey guys, I'm Chesapeake. This is Chesapeake Hammock and Outdoors. And today we're taking a look at a new bug net I just picked up for a whopping, I believe it was $13 at Walmart. This is the Equip Hammock Bug Net. I've got it on my 11 foot DIY Argon 1.6 hammock right now and it fits really well. Here's the tag. It's 12, 12 ounces. It's got a single curved front zipper as you can see here. Let me get the focus. There we go. It's got dual zipper pulls on the front and the back. It's got a nice tight no seam weave here. It's like a grayish no seam. So it really lets the light in. It's not dark at all. And it really, really fits well on my DIY hammock. Like I said it's 11 foot. And I was kind of shocked. I bought it for my wife's hammock. Her hammock that she just used to lounge around in. Which is an equip hammock. And uh, I decided to throw it on here. And it, it actually fits great. Some of the features it has. It's got a... A tab in here for hanging whatever if you don't have a, a ridge line installed exterior it has tabs for a line obviously I have a ridge line so I don't need it but I I installed the added line just for this video to show you what they're for um, the stitching looks actually pretty good the I saw one spot that has some loose thread right there but that was just excess. So I can just uh, melt out with a lighter and it won't be bad at all. Let's hop out real quick and I'll show it to you from the outside. With this curved door, it's really easy to get in and out. No uh, fumbling around way down here or way down here on the head end to find the zipper. It's always right up top here. For not being, you know, expensive YKK zippers, they're just cheap cheap zippers they're uh, pretty easy to operate see one-handed I can zip it up now I did add these zipper pulls myself it's just some orange uh, paracord I added on here to make it a little easier to find in the middle of the night but let's take a look at it I'll step back As you can see not a big bug net for Twelve dollar or you know twelve dollars and twelve ounces I believe it was roughly it it's got the included ever popular stuff sack like most mass produced hammocks do just like their uh, the, you know the equip hammocks that uh, they also produce they have this bug net that's attached to it down here at the bottom that it stuffs up into and there's a loop to hang it I'll get you in close on the material here it's, it's not expensive by any means, but the construction is, is really well. It's a different kind of no seam than my, uh, than my Chill Gorilla net. This is, uh, this is a stiffer no seam, and the, the, the Chill Gorilla bug net no seam is, is really like a fabric-y kind of feel to it um, here's the exterior loops see there's one two three four five going across the uh, the ridge line here and at the ends of the hammock there are is it just a cord lock a simple cord lock to uh, attach it around the, the edge of the hammock you just tighten it down just snug it up and uh, you can see it got uh, it's completely closed. There's there's no gap. Actually, there's less of a gap on this than there is at the peaks of my uh, Dutchwear Gear Chameleon. So that's not bad for for you know ten dollars. There is there is only one door. So here's the back side. Got plenty of length down here at the bottom, as you can see. I've got my 
snug pack under quilt on there and I've got uh, plenty of room at the bottom and plenty of width when I'm in it. Now obviously it's not made for an 11 foot hammock and it's shaped such. So, you know, if you're a taller person, this, this cut might not give you, it might make it a little tight as you're on the diagonal, but I'm 5'7", and it, it's, it's not stressing the, the bug net at all when I'm on it. So, let me give you another, uh, another look at the tag. Take a look inside from the outside. A nice, easy to manipulate zipper pulls here. I just got my uh, snug pack, snuggy pillow that I've had for you know about five years now, and it's still going strong. This is a uh, polyester mesh, so that's why it's got the uh, the stiffer feel to it. Twelve ounces, so you know a little heavy. It's not an ultralight bug net by any means, but. You know, if you're uh, just getting into hammocks or, you know, you're not a serious backpacker and you're just looking for a bug net, you know, a lot of the cottage manufacturers are closed right now. So, uh, you know, get out to your local Walmart while you're out getting your groceries and toilet paper and stuff and uh, pick up one of these. You won't be disappointed. I know, you know, I've got some expensive hammocks and I've got some cheap hammocks and, um, I've seen all different kinds of products, and for what it is, I can definitely say that you know this is a, a decent bug net. And once again, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna last forever, but then again, it's not gonna fall apart after one year of use. That I can definitely tell. It's got you know it's single stitched, but it, it's good strong stitching. Like I said, I've only found the one spot where it was loose and that was just excess these tabs are bar tacked on here which is pretty decent it's thick webbing it's not uh just some cheap material sewn in and um same thing with this tab on the inside to hang your light or whatever but you know most people watching this video you're going to have a, a ridge line installed so you won't need to use this but it's definitely uh it's definitely there if you want it so this is the Equip hammock bug net. It, uh, it's not a compression stuff sack at all. So let me close this up real quick so you can get a good look at it. It's not a compression stuff sack, so it packs down to about the size of a Nalgene bottle, which, like I said, you know, you're not going to take it backpacking on any, ex you know, long excursions. If you're out in the backyard like I'm using it right now or you're going car camping or something like that, it's going to be great for you. So uh, check it out. It's the Equip Hammock Bug Net, 12 ounces, 10 or 12 dollars. It'll get you out of the bugs and get you between the trees. So I'm Chesapeake, and I'll see you guys next time.